I definitely popped off harder than I think I've popped off in mm -hmm. any other game, which might be a little embarrassing considering it's Fall Guys. There's some good uh, Apollo pop-off moments. Dude, uh, you got caught. Luden's son is a is an all time <laughs> that's classic. That's a great one, dude. That that secured us in the money, man. You, you got caught. I got Luden's us in the money, son. Oh. Rivals can be so fun, dude. Like, I feel like every rivals that I can remember has like a, a moment that was just really, really high high tier content, except for the one rivals where we got last place. Oh no! In in PUBG. PUBG, yeah, yeah. PUBG. When your I ass, I mean, I'm sure you don't have too many moments that you can relate to on this one. When your ass PUBG is pretty miserable. Yeah, no, I, I, I think I can understand that. PUBG's miserable when you're good. Yes, yeah, it's true. I mean, like, you gotta put yourself in the shoes of me. When, if I'm in a 1v1 battle with someone in PUBG, it's actually like more than an 80% chance I lose. You know how depressing that is? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. It's... Look, PUBG's a hard game, all right? It's I wouldn't feel too bad about it. That's why I only play super people now. Do you? Well, if I did it. Ooh. Oh, man. Fourth place? I am goaded at Zoms, though. I went back to back. I'm 100% I'm win rate in Zoms this week. You've got the Zoms uh, fire, dude. I believe it. It's a great game. I'm glad you're able to overcome the incredibly racist names to be able to play that. I game. have it on streamer mode. <laughs> so whenever I get killed, it's always like you got killed by like Angry Cactus or something like that. That's good. I kind of oh, miss the, the BR, <laughs> the, the thrill, you know? Been oh, yeah. No. I mean, this is this is as close to it as I get now. Yeah. I just keep, I'm sorry, I keep laughing. I keep thinking of stuff from the rehearsal that makes me laugh. <laughs> yeah? It's just like when he's driving with the guy and the he's got his phone on his lap and he's looking at the GPS and the host says, can I hold that for you? And he says, no, don't worry about it. I drive like this all the time. Oh, but his no. like origin story for becoming a born again Christian was crashing a Scion TC at 100 miles an hour. <laughs> oh my God. I've done, dude, I've done that like once when I was in a situation where like I didn't know the turn coming up and I didn't have my phone on the right spot and it was in my lap. And I, when I looked down, I was like, I'm going to die. Like, this is horrible. Who would... It's scary, man. I cannot imagine doing that every time. I'm glad I, I grew up, uh, like I learned to drive before cell phones were a thing. I've never even been tempted to look at my phone while driving. And then, well, so we had like a, a built-in GPS. And then when our car got robbed, the fuckers stole the SD card. So rather than get another SD card and like get the data for the city again, I just learned how to drive like a taxi driver. So now I like I can get around the city without even needing any GPS, probably just like really, really inefficiently <laughs> compared to what the roads would do for what the GPS would do for us. But mm -hmm. so um, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm on kind of like sicko mode right now. I learned from my mother not to text and drive because she was a serial phone user That's while hell. driving. And I hated it, yeah. And I was like, Dude, I'm never going to do this. I, there's like few worse feelings than being in somebody's car when they're driving badly and just being like, oh. I hope I don't die. Yep. Insane, insane. Yeah. Nice. First place? Yeah, first. Oh my God. You know, my mom, I, I love her to death, but she drives like an actual freak. Like, just uh, kind of diving in between lanes, passing everyone, kind of. hate that. Yeah. Oh, everyone I, hated him. That's why everyone in the family is now a super safe driver. All of the kids are super safe. I do. I have a friend. I haven't driven with him in, like, 10 years. And it's not Malv, but Malv knows who it is. Uh, he drives, like, never touches anything but the passing lane. And is always just wanting to do 10 kilometers an hour faster than the person in front of him. And gets right up, no matter what the weather, gets like right on their bumper and then starts to get agitated. It just goes like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And then they move over into the passing or into the uh, slow lane and he goes, and like, it's, it's scary. That's, yeah, that's no fun. Just because like, so like driving fast helps you a lot when you're on like a road trip, right? You're driving like eight hours. Yeah. You know, yeah. If you want to go like 10, 15 over the speed limit, you're actually going to save a lot of time. But like, when you're just going like a 20 minute drive, yeah, you're you just saving like seconds. You're only saving like 
20 seconds or less. Like, just listen to it like like half of one more song. Yeah, just just drive normal, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Ugh. No, I like it's bad everywhere. Like, I don't know. I bet it's worse in Texas. <laughs> Not Everyone to be rude, says, but like, I, no, I bet. it's bad here. Yeah. But like, I think it's bad everywhere. I think I, you can ask anyone. They're like, oh, like, how are the how's the traffic slash driving? Oh, it's horrible here. Yeah. And, you know, it's just everyone sucks at driving. Well, like, in, just, there's different flavors that I've noticed, at least like in B.C., they're incompetent like you just multiple well, at least in vancouver multiple times per day you'll just be like you don't know how to drive what are you doing like you're, you you've somehow gotten your car onto like a protected bike path and now you can't figure out how to get out of it because there's a bike behind you and you are you dead oh thank god no no, no ttv spoiling tried to kill me and uh this <laughs> medicine untimely demise but then on like uh well like northwestern washington i'm like the drivers are just really aggressive like, they seem competent, but they're like, I know it's a monsoon, but, like, I'm trying to go 80 instead of 70, so, like, get the hell out of the way. But then the fucking, and I'm, we don't need to get into it too much, but the design of the highway on I-5 is fucked up, because you're not allowed to move into the left lane, supposedly, unless you're passing. But then, there's a fucking on-ramp, like, every 100 meters, so you're constantly like, oh, I'm going to move over in the left lane to let the people on the on-ramp get over, and then somebody in a... a early gen 1 tesla model s who has a novelty license plate like rip oil is on your ass like rrr, rrr, get out of the way and then you're trying to move over to the other lane but then there's another on-ramp coming up and it's just like it never ends dude this is too real it's too real man nothing's worse than like oh god um nothing's worse than the fucking uh when you're like you, you kind of come out of an exit like a left exit and you're on the you're in the left lane and you're yeah, like oh, yeah. get over into the right lane because i don't really want to go fast so i'm not passing but then you have someone on your ass who just already who's like speed up man and they swerve over to the right lane to pass you and it's like dude you gave me like two milliseconds to like make the decision to get over in the lane like drives me where crazy, do you gotta man. be dude yeah drives me crazy and then they're mad at you but it's like dude i would have gotten over if you were fucking patient at all I'm actually, well, okay, I give people the finger on occasion. But that's not even, on the highway, I would never. I, in the city, I give people the finger all the time. So maybe, I, so what I was about to say is I'm, like, the nicest driver out there. Which, which, that's why I put that little caveat in there early. Sorry, I'm rambling. I don't know how to stop. But anyway, I, like, if you just give me some space, I'll merge. I don't want to, like, some, there's times where I'm like, I'm going to pass some people, and then I instantly, whenever, at the safest opportunity, get back into the slow lane. But then sometimes people that are tailgating you are like, you didn't get to the slow lane fast enough, so they go into the slow lane to pass you on the right. And I'm like, well, we're just wasting each other's uh, signal fluid right now. You didn't have to, I promise I'll get out of the way. I, I almost got into an accident actually on my way to my tattoo appointment a couple weeks ago. Um... It, w it was like a nobody's fault situation until the other guy just wasn't paying attention because uh, we were like side by side, but one car apart, basically. Okay. So like I was on, out at like the left of him and he was to the right of me, one car back and I needed to get over. So I was like, okay, time to make the decision to get over. But we both make that decision at the same time. So he starts ah, like speeding yeah, up yeah, yeah. at the same time that I'm like, all right, I gotta, I gotta get over. And so no one's fault, it's just a bad timing type deal. But like, I noticed it like almost immediately and I'm like, oh, okay. But I did that thing where I gave him credit. Cause like, I, you know, I, I feel like I was kind of ahead. So I was like, okay, he needs to just slow down a little bit and we'll be fine. And that's, you don't do that. You just don't give anyone any fucking credit as a yeah, driver absolutely. ever. But cause he just kept on speeding up. Like he wasn't even looking at his fucking like monitor slash, you know, uh, windshield. I understand. Uh, you're, you're and also so I had to like, right now, so it's, yeah, and so I had to uh, immediately like swerve back into the lane, and I, I bet he was like pissed. But it's like, dude, just slow down. I I have to apologize. I played the worst game of hexagon I've ever seen. I've needlessly fell through like ten layers. There was no re there was no reason for it. I this, you know what. That one was cursed. Good, it was just cursed. Didn't have a good go of it there. <laughs> well, however you did, my performance was so <laughs> much worse. I like I I was I was just off in no man's land. 
I had a bad ending there. I had to go cut that guy off, but if I wouldn't cut him off, there wouldn't have been enough spaces to live anyway. So there was no winning for me. Yeah, I give people the finger a lot when I'm driving, but it's always for the same thing. It's always like, you know, in a city, when you're making a left turn, sometimes you just have to wait for the light to turn yellow, you know, cause you're not gonna find the space to fit in on green. And then like two cars run the red going straight and I'm like, okay. And then a third car runs it, but they run it slow as hell. So that I'm now turning left like three seconds into the opposing ways green. And then I'm like, guess what? Take one of these, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I... You fucking asshole, idiot. I am never interacting with other drivers ever again after what happened when Justin and me were on the way to some food. Um, we uh, we were driving and I, I, will, I will take an L here, okay. sort of. It happens. It, People make mistakes. Yeah, so what it was, uh, and it wasn't even entirely my fault, because here in Austin, I don't know if there's anyone else in chat, in your chat, who lives here, the roads here are the most nightmarishly designed roads ever. Like, it's like every road was placed without thought for the next road, so every road is, like, mishmashed together in the most confusing turn ways, like, it, just every single other intersection is different. There was like a five-way intersection at one point that I, I I drove up to and I was like, what what way am I going? Like if I didn't have my phone in front of me telling me which lane to drive into, I wouldn't have known. It split yeah. off into like a flower. Like this is, so, <laughs> and that's everywhere, all over Austin. So there was one of those situations where I like was turning into a lane and I, it was marked very poorly and I didn't know which lane I was turning into. Um, and so there was a guy in front of me to my right. And so I accidentally turned into his lane and I got mad at him because I thought that it was my lane. So that was the L. I take the L cause I, and, I, and I honked at him because I didn't want to hit him. And I was like, you son of a bitch. And then I kind of realized like, oh shit, this is, this is actually kind of my fault. Um, but we very quickly noticed because he started slowing down and trying to line up with us. Uh oh. And on the, he had a bunch of uh, bumper stickers of oh, like. Oh uh, no. Of the kind you wouldn't, you know, want to mess with, I guess, regardless of, uh, you know, how you feel. Yeah. yeah lots no, of guns, let me say. And he was slowing down and I went, nah. no, 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 yeah. I'm not. I, I slowed down. I, I pulled up to the, the next light behind him to the left. So like I left a, a car's length in front of me, just like, nah, dude, I'm not, I'm not engaging with this. I love that. If you want to, uh, but yeah, that was like, okay, you know what? It's just not worth it. It's not worth it to be mad at anyone. And, Cause you're going to get one guy who, you know, has a rifle in his backseat. Who's like, yeah. oh, okay, today's the day. You gave me the excuse. Yeah, this is generally my approach to conflict, but I feel like I'm not that worried about it from giving someone the finger. Especially, I guess, in Canada. Because I'm like, if they took a second to, like, pull out a weapon, I'm gone. <laughs> I'm yeah, the, well, gas. the problem is I was, like, in the city, like, with, like, you know, oh, yeah. bumper to bumper traffic. So there was no going anywhere. I'm kind of like, I, I've been getting pedestrian rage, too. Like, I, I was talking about it in Squeaks' chat, but I was like, you know, when, like, somebody doesn't stop for you at a crosswalk and then you memorize their license plate and people were like, what the fuck are you talking about? And then I was like, you guys don't do that? If somebody like cuts me off, if I'm about to cross at a crosswalk and then a car speeds through, in my head, I'm like, I'm repeating their license plate number. Just until I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm just repeating their license plate number. And then like the other day, a car cut me off at a crosswalk and then got stuck at a red light. And I pretended to take a photo of their license plate with my camera, like my phone. <laughs> just, just like I want, I don't know if they no. saw me do it, but I was like, if they're in the car, they're probably like, oh shit, I cut that guy off. And now he's taking a photo of my car. Just to put, just to put the fear of God in them, you know? You would get shot in Texas, actually. <laughs> Why don't they just respect the right of way? No, I mean, I agree with you. It's just like, I don't know if these are fights worth picking, man. Oh, is it legal you're, to take a photo of somebody's car now? No, but you, you, you never know who's <laughs> going to be in that car, man. They're just going to hop out and like with a baseball bat or something, dude. Like, there, there's just no reason for this. This is what made me feel better. There was That was the reason. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Yeah, seriously, don't do that here. Jesus okay, Christ. Okay, fine. I'll mind my own business over there, but... Yeah, in Canada, you're probably fine, but... I am getting, I'm getting too comfortable. Like, when I first moved to the city, it was like... Ooh, hello, excuse me, sir. Oh, sorry. No, after you. Now, like, people, I could be in, like, a McDonald's waiting for my order. If somebody comes in and goes, ah! I'm, I'm just like, whatever, dude. You do you. As long as you don't get in front of me when, it, when they call my number, like, it doesn't bother me. I'm, I'm feeling, like, too entitled to do as, to act as I please at all times. 
I'm kind of on my psycho arc, honestly. I, I know I, mean, I tweeted that, like, I'm not going to stop at stop signs anymore. That was obviously satirical. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> but I, but I have, I've, I've been acting, like, a lot more selfishly to strangers lately. And honestly, I see why people do it. <laughs> It is easy. Because you know what? Sure. It, it, it's just it, it's the example of like it, the, it, an angel cries when a nice guy loses his cool. Like 20% of my brain power whenever I was outside was dedicated to like, oh, this person's going to walk here. So I'm going to move here so I don't get in their way. And then that and I realized fucking nobody else is giving you the same level of courtesy and concern that you're giving them. So I said, fuck it. This is where I'm walking now. I'm looking at my phone. I'm walking in a zigzag pattern like everybody else. Yeah, I, I've only been in the city a couple times, but man, is it annoying trying to walk with other people who don't, yeah, who are like that, who just don't seem to really give a shit about other people walking around. Dude, I just a couple. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, sorry. Yeah, there, there was a couple, it was me and Chibli, we, we had just finished our like, nice little sushi dinner, and we were just walking down the street, and there was a couple in front of us, like, taking up both things, like, uh, like Pissing walking, like, off, uh, hugging together, like, oh, you're so fucking cute, but could you get the fuck out of the way? One like, of you's got to you gotta walk, walk single here. file when there's other people around so everybody can use the sidewalk. It's, it's just ridiculous. It's so selfish. This is not... I, I, I can't believe I haven't told this story before. I swear to you 100% this is true. I was walking on a narrow sidewalk. There was a mom and two kids. And the kids, you could just tell. Like, I was making eye contact. He was like 12. He, he had this shit-eating grin on his face. He was like, I'm, I don't care about anybody but myself. Maybe there's some projecting, okay? But he was walking his dog. I moved over to the side so they had space to get by me. He moved away from his dog so that I was now going to walk into the leash. And I saw the situation develop over 15, 20 feet. And I said, I'm not fucking moving. And then I just walked into the leash. And as soon as I walked into the leash, it got like the dog got wrapped around my leg a little bit. And then the kid went like, oh, and had to walk around the other side to untangle it. And he said, sorry, mister. And I just said, <gasps> I just said, yeah. And then when he untangled, Jesus I kept Christ. walking. This, I <laughs> swear to you, it's not a joke. <laughs> that's, that's a Man, <laughs> I was we had ample time to not have a collision. I moved into the oh. spot to not collide and you said, let's it's go time. OK. No, I mean, I, 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 I I'm just surprised is all I feel like you really are in your psycho arc, dude. I think it, it has there's a couple of things related. I think one of them is uh, I have very little free time and that has me constantly on edge because I'm, you know, parenting a lot. So yeah. I don't get a lot of me time. I think it makes me more prone to pick fights in public <laughs> for the petty offenses. And then the other one is just being old and being like, as long I would never do something bad, like wrong, and then be like, oh, you got a problem? I'll fucking punch you. But if I'm doing everything in my power to like make this situation resolve, and then they, through their own careless actions, end up walking into me because they're looking at their phone. Well, guess what? Now, now we're apologizing to one another. Let that be a lesson to you. Too many selfish people in the world uh, remain selfish because they never face consequences for their actions. I'm not out here like, oh, you're looking at your phone while you're driving. I'm going to like release the air from your tires. But I might give you a little fucking honk. I might be like, eh, the light's been green for four seconds. <laughs> What's good on Instagram right now? No, no, no fucking knuckles. Sorry. I would I, actually, I'm, I'm, dude, here. I've had some psych. I'm, I'm realizing now. I've been kind of like a loose cannon. You're the a other, freak. The other day, I was at self checkout, waiting in line for self checkout. The dude um, in front of me was trying to figure out how to use the self checkout. He had like one bag of produce, but he couldn't remember the code or couldn't find the name or whatever. So he said, "Just a second, and then walk to get the code." As soon as he left, I scanned my shit and paid uh, on his account. So, like, he got the reward points or whatever, but I'm like, I'm not waiting around for, for this guy to fucking come back from the vegetable section. And uh, then he came back, and he just went, huh, and he had to get in line. But it took him, like, 45 seconds to come back. I was like, you, you can't just say just a second and then, like, leave. We got other people here have got shit to do. Yeah, that's I'm fair. doing I my thought... own thing. As long as I'm within the <laughs> my rights as a... As, and this is not even like as a consumer is if if you're inconveniencing other people well now you've made it my business i'm just gonna do what i was gonna do normally if you hadn't fucked it up if you got a problem with that then that's you that's your emotions getting the better of you 
Nah, man, you're uh, full me mode, dude. Go for it. You got a kid now. You're allowed. I'm. I'm now realizing this is all in character. Like there's, because <laughs> now like I'm, I'm thinking about like it's a cascade of events from like the past month that are coming into my head. <laughs> like uh, at a, I, I was yeah, at a four, revelation. I was at a damn four way stop, and then uh, I was like third there, and the two cars in front of me went, and then the lady to my left tried to go, and as she was going, I just went. Uh, and I turned left because I had to turn left to get a, a crosser, and I was just shouting the whole time. I said, "How long are you gonna make me wait to turn left here?" Like, you know, I could. It would have taken the same amount of time for me to just let her go and then go myself. But no, she she broke convention. She broke the rules. She needs to face some kind of like psychic consequence. She doesn't need to go to prison, but she needs to know like I saw that shit, and whether it was a an omission of skill or a deliberate asshole move. You're gonna face a consequence for me. And That's she was, fair. she honestly, her posture behind the wheel, she went from Meryl Streep to Michael Sarah. She went from like, <laughs> like sitting tall and confident to like, she had like a little curve in her back and she kind of hunched over the steering wheel. And I was like, let's go. I've, I've done my good deed for today. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, uh, maybe, maybe I should be worried about you or shooting someone else at this point, dude. Jesus I would Christ. never, I would never, I would never own a gun. That's fair. Or any kind of weapon. I would never physically assault somebody unless it, w it was in like self-defense. I think. But I, 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 I would. I'm, I'm starting to realize that my words are my gun, and I'm, I've no, like... I'm no longer as afraid to use them as I used to be. I do feel like you're you're like two or three steps removed from like slashing a tire or something though. I would never. To be honest. <laughs> I don't know. I would never slash someone's tire. <laughs> I mean, what if they cut you off and then parked in the same parking lot that you were at? Like, I would I'm park. Saying, like... I would if there was like a parallel parking situation. I would box them in though. <laughs> I would never Close slash it. I would just make it take forever for them to get out of there. Oh, that's what spot. I mean. You're like you're like a couple steps removed from that though. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're all a couple steps removed from some <laughs> fucked up shit, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you gotta don't, don't go too much farther, you know. Yeah, no, I know. You're well, you know what's like, gonna happen running, is one day your car into a barrier, lighting it on fire, and shooting yourself. One and day I'm gonna do that shit to the wrong person, and then they're gonna yell at me, and I'm gonna feel bad, and I'm never gonna do it ever again. <laughs> but yeah, for now, much. I've been I've been operating with impunity. I'm running amok out there, kind of, but only when people mm. like offend me in the first. Like, oh, dude, well, I felt actually great when the kid walked into me with the leash, and then he said, <laughs> "Sorry, Mister." Uh, what if that was like his like the C, like support dog or something and you just it like, was not come on <laughs> i'm just saying like <laughs> you gotta be careful what if? Man. you're gonna bump into you know what you're the be like out of the way man the thing that's gonna... fucked up is that i was still recovering from my uh simultaneous campbell back during salmonella infection oh, that shit could have right, killed right, right. me my legs were really weak. I had uh, I had pitting edema. That could have caused me to have like a permanent scar or something. Oh my god. Oh, you know what's kind of pissing me off is that I've been talking about the obviously the infection stuff for a while, but so it's become a meme where people are like, "People talk." I almost died, but it's starting to piss me off a little bit because I did kind of like almost die. Like, the more people are saying it, the more it's becoming like, oh, remember that time he pretended to almost die from food poisoning? But, like, legitimately, I was fucked up. <laughs> I could have faced some severe, like, health consequences. So, just remember that, okay? You can still type it. I just don't want it to become a meme that, like, oh, I'm actually stupid. Um, that I didn't go through some shit, because I went through some shit, okay? Some shit. I'm, good luck to you, by the way. I'm... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, this is the most confusing maze ever. Why'd you even try that one, man? I've made it through the drums. I've got good news. Let's go! <laughs> that was the craziest maze ever, man. We won. Team effort. Hey. Team effort, team effort. Mm -hmm. Whew. Look, it took both of us to get there, all right? Yep, technically. <laughs> I was still alive at the end. Yeah, true. Oh, I don't even feel bad because I won that Hexa uh, Thin Ice game. Yeah, dude, that I can carry. I could damn coast. Oh, man. I was still coming down off that ramp, man. That was, that was the scariest I've ever seen. <laughs> I feel very... Like, it's like... You know what? I'm not the Joker. I'm actually Batman. 
which is also like he has his own kind of moral darkness. Don't get me wrong. But the Joker is like, hey, nice boat ride you got here. What if I blew it up? <laughs> Batman is like, you stole a chocolate bar. I'm going to break your leg. That's, <laughs> I'm, I'm Batman. People are like, you know, com committing mild social grievances against me. And I'm refusing to bend at all. Yeah, yeah. I just, you know, you're going to have that one situation where like you might, you might misread it, you know? I've been working the careful. eyebrows too. I've been really working the eyebrows. Well, like the, the rock, like the. Well, no, like someone does something that I think is dumb and it inconveniences me a little bit, and I hit him with one of these. I hit him with a. Is it the one eyebrow up, one down? It's a it's a two eyebrows up, head slightly turned to the side to be like. Oh, uh, like, come on! Did you you want to you want to take another crack at that one? <laughs> <Do> you... <laughs> Try again. Yeah, you know. Oh, maybe next time uh, you could remember the produce code before you come to the self-checkout. Jesus, man. <laughs> <laughs> come on. That's, that's pushing <laughs> He knows what he did. I didn't see what was in the bag. It might have been like some fucked up stuff. I mean, I've been there too. I, I tried to put bok choy into the self-checkout. It's like, we don't have bok choy. It turns out this shit is called like uh, something different. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but... I had to go from the self-checkout to the normal checkout, and she's like, oh yeah, we don't call it bok choy, we call it, like, you know, sparkling Green. cabbage or something, and I was like, yeah. oh, okay, my bad. Whoa. No hammer? I sleep. No hammer, dude, who cares? Watch this, watch this. Ooh. Oh, nice jump. Uh, he still made it. Oh, I just... I may have Ooh. thrown P1. Ah, oh, whatever. We're clean. Tragic. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> the best is when the produce is spelled wrong in their system. Well, you gotta learn, like, every individual self-checkout, right? I, I do want to give some credit to the grocery store I go to the most. Their scales were, like, miscalibrated or calibrated with such a tight window that they always needed a supervisor to come over and check. Like, it would always ring the alarm, even if you weren't stealing. But this now, like I've never seen the alarm bells go off in, in like probably the last month, which is great. However, you need to learn, like if you're buying red pepper, you don't type in red pepper. You type in bell pepper red, and then it shows up. I'm like, how, how bad is the search function that you need to type it in, like in the exact alphanumeric sequence? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I've ever <laughs> typed in a produce code before. I'm going to be honest with you. They have a sticker on it, and then you just put it on the scale, and then you go beep, 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 and then it, the sticker has the number on it. That's pretty easy. I think I can handle it. I'll be honest. I was tempted to, from that self-checkout line. I was tempted to steal for the first time ever the other day. I didn't because I'm a coward. What um, tempted you to thievery? Okay, so hear me out, right? Was we there someone before for... you taking a, in front of you taking a really long time for no reason, in which case no. I feel you're justified? We were at Walmart and we were buying stuff for like the, the trip because we all the boys had just gotten there and then we passed by them restocking Pokemon card packs. All right. And because they're always out at Walmart, dude, they're always out because like someone like us comes by and just grabs the fucking stack of them. And... Wow. Yeah, yeah, I understand. <laughs> yeah. So we, we were those guys for that time. So we just grabbed a stack of them and we, we went to the checkout and I was like, no one's watching me. Like, I, I know the cameras are probably on, but like, if I just grabbed like two packs at a time and scanned them and pretended it was one pack, no one would know. No one would be the wiser. Let me like, take no it one... a step further. At any given time at the self-checkout, you could probably, you could just walk out the door, probably. Yeah, some people do that apparently, <laughs> I was told. That's just the thing that you can do is like, you could just you know, like fill your bags up at the self-checkout, don't ring anything up and then yes. just leave. Like some people are out there taking like others that they're like weighing um, like ribeyes and then they're typing it in as like non-organic bananas or something like that. Like that's, that's just, just that's just stealing with extra steps. Yeah, but it's but it's like that's smart stealing. I respect it. Look, look, it, if you're going to stick it to the man, at least stick it to Walmart. Like, we yes, I, Walmart. I couldn't agree more with that. But I will say I also and this is I'm only bringing it up because it's in my psycho arc and it's completely in character. When my mom was here, sometimes we would leave the grocery store and go to another store. And she would get so tilted at me if I didn't take my receipt from the grocery store. Because she'd be like, what if the Home Depot thinks you stole those eggs from there? <laughs> and I, I told her, I was like, 
I just give me a reason. I would love it if I if I bought groceries legally, went into another store, and they tried to like detain me for stealing some iced tea or something like that. I would the whole time they have me locked in the back office or whatever. I'd be like, "You're making a big mistake. <laughs> you don't even know. You don't mess with Ryan on his not psycho e arc. Dude. Not even like, oh, you don't know who I am. But like, I'm gonna. You can't illegally detain me for this, and I didn't steal. Check out my well simple cash app. I've got the receipt right in here." <laughs> I, and then I would take the whole business down, man. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, you'd get this like game, I, I'm in that art and damages. No, nah, well, it depends. I'll just make up like a lie about how they, I don't know. They kicked you. Strip searched me or something after that. Mm -hmm. they're, they're like, you got any more fruit roll ups on you? Drop them. <laughs> I am on that. I'm, I'm becoming. You're, uh, you're right, I'm Batman. I think you said that, right? No, um, you said yeah, that. That was me? Because every time I walk outside now, I'm like, just give me a reason. Batman does, like, he does, like, look for fights, you know? Yes, that's he true. He does pick them. Are you also saying you're, like, a billionaire? Because... No. I'm just saying, like... Well, the S&P 500... The S&P 500 has been doing really well the past 30 days or so. It's good. I'm happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you really needed that, didn't you? Well, it's been a hard year. First, <laughs> uh, the, we, you know, we entered a secular bear market, uh, had the simultaneous infections. I think I brought that up a couple times. No, I That's feel about you. it. That's about it. I mean, I went like a month without winning a Fall Guys game. <laughs> That's the worst of all the things that happened. Jeez, man. I mean, after I got used to the winning you know once a day you gonna do this you don't take my friend's tail you don't speak to mr sakic swear to god man if we lose this game i'm I, i'll admit i'm basically just standing still take it i'll go find someone no, no, else. okay yeah great that's actually a great idea just don't lose it all right come on who do you think you're talking to? I, I'm just saying, man. I've seen this oh, one. Oh, shit! <laughs> no, my, okay, no, no, my teammate! My teammate took it. It's okay. Oh, here it comes! My own teammate grabbed me. <laughs> oh, He's are, just better than me. We are pogging. Wait, did you give me, me that tail? Hammer me! Oh. I think there's a paid actor, dude. Someone just walked up and gave me a tail. Let's go. Were they blue? Yep. Let's go! It's the same guy. I clutched up. <laughs> I'm good. I'm glad. Clutch, clutched up team tail tag. You laugh? Dude. I actually I qualified in like seven consecutive rounds of tail tag once. It, like last week. Then I lost one, but like for seven in a row. Dude, single tail tag's easy. Oh no. Stomping ground. Oh no, dude. I'm getting better at this. No, 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 I'm getting better. One ride was look. easy mode. And that's gonna be three though, we all know. I guess we see two on the screen already. Yep, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got this, dude. If I die in the first 10 seconds, you're free to laugh. Okay. Chat, you hear that? You can omega little. What if you? L, what if you just what, dove what? onto one of the um, the bouncers? Do you think you could do that and live? Yeah. Watch. No! Oh! Holy cow! He, I didn't. I don't think he thought that he had to double bounce it. I think he thought he was just gonna go straight back on. I, uh, there was some weird stuff that happened there. Yo, out of the way, Rhino freak! Oh Dude, he's God. standing in the middle. I, that was like the most fake. That, that rhino wanted me the whole time, dude. Yeah, you can't laugh anymore. What does your chat do? Is your chat Keck W, Keck L, uh, LOL? LOL I don't, I've not enabled Keck W, so they mostly type LOL. Uh, that's fair. So I'm, I got a LOL chat too. I've got, uh, I've only enabled Keck Wait. That's a good one. I'm dead, but we're gonna qualify. I'm bobbing and weaving, dude. 
At least it's not Dan's chat. Yeah, Dan disabled Keck W and has his own proprietary Keck W emote. That, in my, in my personal opinion, is not uh, good enough <laughs> to be a reasonable substitute. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know it's it's, it's a bit, it does, it's a very it, Dan know, thing to do. The problem is for me is that it's it's so I get that he's trying to do a Keck W, but it kind of looks like K Kona to me too. Like it looks less like he's mimicking Keck W and more like he's like mimicking like a, a toothless farmer oh or something God. like that. Like I know what you mean. I've seen it. It's but don't tell him we said that, Chad. Don't. I think it, it's a good idea. It just needs a little work or something. It needs, maybe it needs to be zoomed out a little bit or something. He's got the right idea, just maybe the wrong execution. Like, I don't try to, to, to sway my chat to use emotes one way or the other. They do what they want. Yeah, I know. What Every other chat, I mean? when, it, when I come in, they're like, NL, Pog, NL, he's here. I come into your chat, I get, like, bullied immediately. <laughs> yeah, or, cause... even worse, ignored. <laughs> which just feels so bad when I was saying, why, we were playing Valorant, and I was like, why do ops sound like this? And I put the <laughs> boom emoji, and nobody reacted. So then I, I typed, it, why do ops sound like this with the boom <laughs> emoji? And then people were like, Ryan, dot, dot, dot. Look, they're used to you, man. They've known you for fucking like eight years now, man. I just thought at least they'd give me like a an at Northern Lion so true or something like that. <laughs> but but nothing Dude, of the sort. Speaking of going to other people's chats, I I'm not the kind of guy to bully people. Like I'm not a bully, you know. True, true. I, but like when I go into Squeaks' chat, all I want to do is bully him. Yeah. That's it's like uh, something comes over me, dude. I go in there and I like I, I want to go <laughs> bald, you know, <laughs> bad at Mario. Like, it's just so much fun. I bullied him a little bit during Elden Ring. Yeah, that's fair. But in my defense, I was gonna say he was bald. During <laughs> <it>. <laughs> that's no. Also, I don't even. People say Squeaks is bald. It's like offensive to actually bald people. Yeah. I know, Squeaks I isn't that. even close to bald. Like, his hairline now looks like my hairline when I was in the ninth grade. Alright, I'm dead, but good luck, dude. He doesn't get to claim, like, bald solidarity yet. Give it, give it like, 18 months, okay? Wow. Wow. Did you see me assassinate so the dude? That was the easiest win for you of all time. You made it look so oh easy. God. Nah, dude, I just like, I love going into his chat and saying, uh, uh, don't fail THI this time. What is THI? <laughs> That's a uh, tiny, huge island. Oh, 70 star. Yeah, he always messes up the, the secrets one. It's very funny. It's is like a the, thing now. Is that the one with the rainbow? Uh, the rainbow. No, it's the one where he's like Big Mario running around. He's got to touch all the little things. Uh... I've seen that one. It's, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like grabs the ledge and then he pulls up and then he teleports and he has to hit the button, but then he misses the button and he falls off. It's so good, dude. That's like classic slapstick. I get bullied in Squeaks' this chat. Usually I just, I, I go to the chat, I say like, Keck L or something like that. And then like 50 people type, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got the what the hell thing going pretty good. That's, that's his NL bit. It he needs to get a new NL bit though. Cause what the hell, like, I mean. I stole it from Chibli to begin with. True, that is a Chibli original. Well, I heard him I say it I once. I stole it as well. Yeah, I heard him say it once, and I was like, that's really funny. I'm going to make that like my thing. This is yours? This is mine. <laughs> our, our meme. Our catchphrase. Yup. I'm a little mad at Chibli, by the what way. What did he do? Well, he was playing Cult of the Lamb. And that makes you mad? Well, yeah, because what is he? Well, he's wasting his talents. He's <laughs> doing a Let's Play. Was doing like a, a normie let's play, play some like, psycho what? shit, like or or react to some YouTube videos. Don't just play a game. <laughs> You're Chibli, dude. Like, tell a joke. Look, he tells jokes still. All right. He had he had a picture of like Heaven Gandalf on the screen at one point. I don't even remember what it said, but it made me laugh because I had the that stream muted, funny. and I was like, what the what the hell is this? Chibli's randomly pop images up meta is, is just high and above everyone else's. Like, you can't beat that. Dude, I was going to do it today, but I was worried it might be a bad look. Because I, um, so I've been playing some more GeoGuessr, Battle Royale, 
So when I made my thumbnail for GeoGuessr Battle Royale I played on like Thursday or Friday, I got uh, like a pop-up of the thumbnails that I made last summer for GeoGuessr Battle Royale. And I in those... Nice jump, Bozo. In the, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you inconvenienced me slightly. In those <laughs> thumbnails, I actually look like someone... Like I ate a person. Like let, let me see if I can get this... Compare like, my face now to my face in this image. Just give me a... I'm getting it going here. If you'll just give me a second. Mm -hmm. I'm pulling it up. So I, I think it's this one right here. I get that it's like the same guy. But when I saw <laughs> this pop up, I was like, what the hell? Y you look like... You've learned something that you really didn't want to learn, and you're not sure how to react to it. It looks like I ate my current self. <laughs> I don't know. That's such a specific emotion. I can barely, I can barely read it. And, yeah, and, and I can tell you as well, I made this thumbnail in such a way that it cut off, like, right at my chin. Because I was like, let's not show that it goes, to, like, the skin and the flesh and the hair goes down, like, a little further than that. Cause I'm, you gotta remember, I'm the one making the damn thumbnail. So this was like the most flattering image I could get at the time. I'll be honest. You know what emotion this is? This is someone's given you incredibly bad news, but you're not sure if you believe it or not. That's that. That's the. Well, emotion. the news is I'm knocked out. Just a sec. Just a. Terrible, you're just putting it over me. <laughs> okay, I gotta close the stream. I'm using this, and this is not worth the bandwidth, dude. <laughs> uh, kind of looks, kind of looks right, right? Anyway, get that out of there. <laughs> Choose outcome. Will we qualify? We, we qualified there, right? Oh yeah, sure, of course. It's not about the emotion. It's like, what, what the hell was going on with my face? Okay. <laughs> what, what moment was the... No, was I'm that, saying, why it... didn't anyone tell me I was getting uh, fat as hell? Uh, That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, uh, okay. I'm like, wait, why, why wasn't... The only person who had the uh, confidence to bully me was Origin Angel. I remember I made a joke about how I was like, getting a little chubby, and then Origin was like, you are getting a little chubby. And I was like, how, what, how, could, how could you say that? <laughs> That's brutal, man. Look, you know, just you're you're still on the Peloton, right? Oh, you're dude, fine. no, I'm looking fine now. Like, oh, that was like in the past. That was that was from like last August or something. That was my summer body, 2021. What the hell happened? That was the post COVID. Yeah, you know, ba I was the you know a lot of baby eating a lot of takeout with the baby and stuff like yeah, that, yeah, but yeah, still. Yeah, yeah. I think it's fine. It's understandable. And then there, yeah, was, yeah, there was the almost died. Uh, no, but then like yeah. let me let me find a thumbnail from like, like July first. It's probably like I look like a damn skeleton. I got like a worm coming out of one of my eye sockets <laughs> or something. <laughs> oh my I god! I remember reading the the Reddit thread where they're like. Wow, NL's lost a lot of weight. Someone pops in from R All. I haven't seen this guy in eight years. He looks like a corpse. <laughs> he looks like a damn ghost. I bet they feel bad now. Yeah, now that I almost Make, died. Fun of someone who almost died. Did you hear about that? Oh, uh, yeah. You I almost died, man. I lived it. I lived it. <laughs> oh, let's live stomping ground now. Dude, I bet you're oh, so excited to come into my chat for five minutes on Friday and say play another game. I feel like you like that's like the highlight. Well, of your what week. are you gonna play on Friday? Oh, I'm gonna play PoE, dude. So then I'm definitely coming into your chat to say uh, <laughs> play something else. But are you worried the bit's too obvious now? You have to like try to like uh, mask it or like try to say something slightly different. Well, to, like, you know, I would never say like play a different game because that's toxic. What I would say is you do that all the time. Fall Guys. I would just come in and, and type something I know you're not going to play in order to like bait you into responding. And then you'll ignore yeah. the bait and say, hi, Ryan. Yep. <laughs> Wait, he knows my chat. <laughs> yeah. Whenever I don't want to respond, I just say hi. Oh. What? You like this strat? 
Oh, sorry, just that, <laughs> the noise you made was. <laughs> Thought you were making fun of me for a second. Oh my god, dude, he's got a triple kill. Jesus Christ. He killed the anti masker. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that was a genuine oh no. I don't like to see anybody suffer like that. <laughs> Dude, people Whoa. in my chat are going off on Meatloaf. Like, I dude, I know that he died and they hated vaccines and he died to the thing that he could have been vaccinated against. But he also wrote some fucking slappers, dude. Look at the songs. Look, there's plenty of people who are terrible but also wrote good songs, you know? Where Out do we draw the line? Out pan into the fire. I'm going to love her for both of us. <laughs> Someone in my chat said, wait, he died low. <laughs> oh come on! Just, that's just that's oh, it's just funny. I think you should be allowed to be an anti-vaxer if you've written three good songs. What do you think about that? What's the number of songs you think someone would have to write in order for you to ignore their um, political beliefs or their anti-science beliefs? As long as it's just anti-vax, I feel like you, I would I would need like five or six. Well, here's the thing. I, I've never been a huge Eric Clapton guy, but I can recognize he's had a, a huge impact on rock and roll, and he's got some songs that I like. He gets no credit because he made an anti-vax song. Yeah, as that, soon as you that. do that, for me, you're kind of like gone. But if he mm -hmm. had just, you know, made a couple of interviews, I'd be like, what, fuck him, he's 80, okay? He still wrote, you know, Layla. I think you're also allowed to be an anti-vaxxer if you die of the thing that you're supposed to be vaxxed. I guess against. so, yeah. I think at that point, I'm like, okay, you know, you served your time. Stuck stuck to your guns, I guess. And Yeah, that's the thing. I'm not, I'm not going to judge Meatloaf. Like, the dude, we live in a, a fair society, right? Like, he did the crime, and he fucking did the time. I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm never going to listen to I Would Do Anything For Love ever again. I'm not taking the fans, dude. How are you at the top already? Dude, I'm a Lily Leaper professional. You're like the rain bolt of uh, Fall Guys. I did throw P1 again, though. I <laughs> <laughs> grabbed him. You just told me. Oh, rip bozo. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He almost fell. He didn't fall, but he almost fell. Look, you don't get second place in the Fall Guys Rivals for nothing, man. No, he's, no. he's, Apollo, he's good at the game. Dude, I feel uh, like I've had the most luxurious Twitch Rivals career, you know? Yeah, you've been in a lot of them. Uh, not as many as Justin. I'm not That's even like true. half as many as Justin, almost. No, I got two wins, a second place, a fourth place, a fifth place. I, you know, it's pretty good. I got one win. Go ahead. You won a Rivals? Ask, ask me what it was. Oh, Go ahead. Wait, you won the, the charity. Uh, what was it? No, it wasn't Uno. It was something like that, though, right? Pummel Party. Pummel Party. That's the one. I remember. I also got to you, invite everybody to Pummel yeah, Party. Yeah, you did get to the lobby with a bunch of people who maybe not be very good at Pummel Party. Yeah. It was like Uva Bowl picking his boxing uh, <laughs> opponents. Thin nice, huh? Yeah, it's only like the seventh time we've played it. Chad, I'm not going to add Rip Bozo. I, I just opened the link to see what it was. It's the... The video, the image that people post whenever someone dies and they're happy. I don't want to invite that kind of evil into my chat. Because, you know, if as soon as we start doing that, if I actually did die, people would be posting Rip Bozo in other people's chats. They'll be like, oh, well, you know, I used to like his content, but then he killed the NLSS. So Rip Bozo, Rip, we smoking that egg pack right now. Oh, uh, remember when he killed the analyst? That's what a selfish guy. He only doubled his viewership afterwards. Like, come on. Whoa, 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 whoa no, you're, you're working <laughs> against me. <There> you go. <laughs> That's going to make it worse. I'm not unaware, man. I know the truth. I did see a comment that was like, no streams will ever come close to like the 2013 NLSS days. And I was like, oh, you mean the ones where like, sometimes we just played Dota 2 for three hours while nobody <laughs> talked in chat and nobody watched? Oh, those were the days. You mean the time when Josh moved to Australia and we had a 17 hour time difference so we couldn't have a conversation over voice over IP protocols without a, a huge delay completely ruining all our comedic timing? 
I mean, that he talked better. over you anyway. He that is true. Like, it, it was hard. If it was anybody else, it would have been more noticeable. Whatever. I'm just running, man. Who cares? I'm just softening him up for you. I'm dead. He did Ooh. it! Let's go! Oh my god, I actually threw two. Oh. <laughs> Just yes, fucking qualified. conquering him up, man. I do feel, I mean, this is getting a little too, like, um, self centered. I feel like at some point when streaming, you, in you encountered, like, um, a, a, a road in the wood, a fork in the road, let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. And you either become uh, double down on your efforts to do things more creatively and try to like, you know, break new ground and do cool new stuff that's going to take a lot of work and might carry some risk. Or you become like um, America's Funniest Home Videos and you just sort of like are on. And yeah. like whatever you're doing, that's what people are you know, you watch it or don't. <laughs> I, you know, I, I, I mostly do the second one, but sometimes I do the first one. Yes, you know? I you know stuff like uh, the checkpoint league and stuff like mm -hmm. that, and the Minecraft building you're working on right now and stuff. That, that's yeah. that's a left swing for sure. That's a left at the at the road. That's also that's the Germa path for sure. And then I took the right path, at least for right now, where I'm like, I'm just gonna be like, I'm just gonna be live. I mean, we had. 44 minutes left in the stream. I'm already thinking about a sandwich. Hmm. I could go for a sandwich, even though I just ate hungry again. Oh, but then I remember uh, we ordered Chinese food on Saturday. We still have fried rice left. I'll just go. I'll just go. Uh, I'll just go. Uh, I'll just get some fried rice. 